Hello everybody, I'm back! <laughs> oh yeah, I know, I'm doing more of Paul McCartney of the official Wings Fun Club. Let me start off with this. This is one of the uh, papers that you could buy stuff. Let me give you some crazy, some great crazy, crazy prices. You could buy a Paul McCartney sweatshirt for the unbelievable price of $13. Holy smokes, are they gouging you or what? We're spending way too much. <laughs> That's a lot of money, $13. Imagine that. You could uh, spend more at McDonald's nowadays for $13. <laughs> then buying an official Paul McCartney, I'd, I'd rather have that sweatshirt. Of uh, Paul McCartney, that's for sure. I have to tell my wife. That's what I want. All right, here we're going to show some more of these. This is the back. I, I kind of showed these last time. But what the back is, is people that have done drawings of Paul and different things. And so they've kind of sent in their, their stuff of Paul. So that's kind of neat. And then this is a little bit like uh, Spies Like Us. With Paul. Paul doing spies like us. But these are neat. I know I've said this, but I just... You know, at the time before internet, look at this. Isn't that cool? Look at, that. Look at this picture. Yeah. But, you know, before internet, this was kind of the only way to, to see cool pictures and unusual pictures of Paul McCartney and... Linda and the kids and all that kind of stuff. So this was kind of the the way to go. All right, but this one I just sh I'm showing you is is uh, I don't know if you saw it, but this is the Christmas Christmas edition of Paul. There's that. More spies like us. That's kind of a neat picture here. This one. That's kind of neat. Maybe maybe they'll use that for my screensaver. I hope for my my video shot for my screen. This is kind of neat of them showing pictures of satellite stuff. Rupert the bear. Alrighty, making a lot of noise. Okay, we'll set that one down. And like I said, these are my McCartney fan club. Um, I kept, I kept these. So this is all um, Paul McCartney order forms and reissue. Um, and later on, they went to this for their fan club. So, as you can see, this is kind of a different picture. But, yeah, see, this is just stacks. I, I kept all of this stuff. This is all just lots of these of the fun club, Paul McCartney. See, and they even went green as well. And then they went to white. <laughs> and then they were in the pink of things. All right, we'll set that down. All right, and this is... Uh, Beetle Brad's scrapbook. So you're going to see some of the pictures from Brad's scrapbook. That's the uh, a letter from Paul McCartney from Tug of War. If you can see that at the top, that was Tug of War. And another renewal slip. And this is a postcard. This is a postcard here from the fan club. More pictures. This is that picture, like the postcard I showed you, Paul McCartney, that's that's uh, actually the postcard that Paul signed. Which is this one here. See how Paul signed that? And this is a promo card from the fan club. Picture of Paul's house in Scotland. That's one of the postcards I got from the fan club. And then li this is Linda's postcard. This book's, this book's hard to hold, so I'm trying to, trying to do this. Um, more pictures, and then this is from the fan club. This is all the uh, cards that they gave you when you joined. 
That's that. Those are all my fan club renewal cards. This is a promo card from the fan club of Waterfalls. Another Wings renewal slip. Um, another renewal slip over here. And then more Paul McCartney uh, membership cards. Uh, yes, Beetle Brad has kept all kinds of stuff. Another promo card for Broad Street here. And then over here are more fan club, my membership cards. I kept all of that. That was just fun to keep. You know, really neat. Um, that might be... And it's just other stuff that I had. Um, I'm kind of zipping through different things about Paul. Newspaper stuff when he got busted. Or, um, yeah. <laughs> There's a whole thing from the fan club here. That's kind of neat. That was years ago. That's MPL. Yeah, it says all in there. Full page thing of uh, Broad Street, special article, uh, another renewal slip over here. This is a promo, another renewal slip here, I'm trying to hold it, I'm sorry, not doing too well. Then this is a special one for Broad Street, promo card that they sent you from the fan club. Another promo card and Paul holding an MPL. Sorry about the glare. I might have to change locations. Then I said, you know, Broad Street thing. And then there's another one of those cards here. And that's not signed. So that's that's when they handed those out from the fan club. But that one's not signed like my other one. Um, and another promo card from the fan club. Okay, I think that I've got more, you know, like here's another another one from the, the my yearly uh, membership cards. John a blank, I can't think. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's my club thing. All right, then we'll go to this one, Paul McCartney. Yep. And this is all about during the time of uh, Live Aid. So remember back when Paul McCartney did Live Aid. So that's kind of neat. Um, very cool. So these are these are kind of neat. Crowd shots. Paul McCartney crowd shots. Different shots. Hot Shots. <laughs> that was a good movie, Hot Shots. That was all, this is all Live Aid stuff. Um, when they did Live Aid originally, Paul Mi Paul's microphone went out. So he, he did Let It Be, and his microphone went out, and I recorded it. So I've got the original one when MTV aired it and all of that, when MTV showed Live Aid. And then a couple years ago, they recently redid Live Aid, and they uh, reissued it on DVD. And Paul was so upset about his performance that they redubbed it. And I think, if I get the story right, I think Paul went back into the studio and redid it. This is him here. Here we go. This is, what this is just what I'm talking about. We're doing him doing Let It Be right here. But... They Paul went back into the studio and redubbed his voice. So if you get the video, which is the fairly recent one, which was put out a couple of years ago, I don't remember exactly, because I never bought it, because I had the original. But that is a redub of Paul's vocals. But like I said, so the other one was a big mistake. There's the back. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's that that's that picture, that promo card that I was showing you earlier in my in my Beatles scrapbook. Okay. Um, let's 
so many other good pictures in these. Kind of neat. This is a video game. Actually, let me show this again. This is a video game of uh, uh, Broad Street. Come in regards to Broad Street. And I don't know if this was an, it, uh, you know, video, it was Atari, is, is the article, talking about the Atari video game. I never saw it. So, I don't know if that was just a British thing that came out in England. I don't know, maybe those of you, uh, Beetle James, yeah, those of you that are in England that watch my videos, uh, perhaps maybe you might know better um, if that came out in England. Beetle James, yeah, you might know better. Um, then again, you know, you guys might not have seen it. But this is kind of neat. This is kind of a Beatles all. So anyway, so many pictures. This is all about Sergeant Pepper. Excellent picture over here of Paul. Excellent picture of Paul and Linda. And we are getting ready in June for the re-release of Sgt. Pepper with Penny Lane and Strawberry Fields added to it. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't I don't think they should be doing it. I just kind of think they ought to just leave it alone. You know, it's just kind of... I mean, we've already got it. Keep it on Magical Mystery Tour. I just sort of feel like they're kind of... Those of us that are Beetle collectors, I kind of feel like they're just kind of milking us once again personally i would rather see that they put out a really nice hardback coffee book something like that or perhaps a dvd of sergeant pepper i'd rather see something like that than come out with just the same old hash stuff of sergeant pepper but that's just my opinion all right then i've got this which is a from the Paul McCartney newsletter. This is, this is, you'll get a kick out of this. This is from the fan club. This is a letter that you could send for. This is what I did. I sent for this. This is my um, Paul McCartney uh, tickets that I sent away for. And I don't know if I can zoom in on that or not, but anyway, the tickets, the tickets were $30. <laughs> Oh, yeah, $30. Oh, my gosh. What is it? T-shirts are more than $30 now. I mean, I saw Paul, it's hard to say this word, new. When I saw him when he was new last year, 2016. This is now 2017. So if you're watching this much later, 2017. Um, for the new concert, the T-shirts were more than $30. So it's like, oh, my gosh, that's just crazy. Um, so... Anyway, um, I've got more to show. I'm kind of making these kind of short because uh, I don't want to burn everybody out of going through so much. But anyway, let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was fab beetleless. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, some of you are just such a blessing. You really are. I mean, it's just... It's so sad that we're all scattered throughout the whole country and around the world. Uh, some of you that I've got overseas that I, I really enjoy just talking to each and every one of you and typing out letters and all of that. So it's really a lot of fun and I'm really blessed and I'm really enjoying it and just having fun showing it. Like I've said in a lot of my videos, I'm not out to outdo anybody else with what I've got, but I'm just having fun just showing what I have. Um, and just kind of letting you have an idea of what's out there. So if you're a collector like me and you say, oh, yeah, I kind of like that magazine. I'd like to pick up that, or I'd like to get that book, or I'd like to get that CD, because, you know, I show CDs and vinyl and all that as well. So anyway, alrighty, thank you, vinyl community. Appreciate it, and as I say, I am out of here. So take care, and I will see you real soon.